Hello everyone and welcome back to the workshop. Today we're going to take a look at the Livarno Lux LED Solar Spotlight. Well I picked this up in Lidl's, it was $7.99. Uh, as I said it's a solar powered and it's got a PIR sensor which I thought was pretty reasonable for $7.99 since it's got a PIR sensor as well. Let's see if we can find some info in English. Right, it's got 10 powerful LEDs, obviously mains free because it's solar. It can give 8 hours of continuous light in eco mode. And uh, the light stays on for a minute and a half when it detects motion. Uh, 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 it's IP44 rated and it comes with uh, three 600 milliamp hour uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. Right, away from the box. Let's get the uh, the device out. Well, the device comes in two modules. You got the uh, solar panel, which I suppose is about a hundred by a hundred mil on a lead, and there's probably about two meters of lead to. Uh, almost like a waterproof jack plug. Obviously comes with a mount. It does come with screws as well and raw plugs. So you can obviously mount this on the wall somewhere. And here's the actual main unit. You've got your 10 LEDs. Your PIR here. And there's a switch here which is marked off, auto and PIR. Uh, just plug that in a minute. Right, in the auto mode, uh, it, it's a bit like a, a garden light then. When it sees darkness, the lights will come on, as you can see. And I, I think they're at about 20% brightness uh, to obviously maintain a better and battery life. In the PIR mode obviously it's then triggered from this uh, but only after dark. So if I do that then it's 100% uh, brightness and every time it triggers it comes on for a minute and a half and uh, obviously continuous triggering just resets that minute and a half. Basically you got to have a minute and a half without anything triggering and it'll go off. Right, so where do I start? What I thought was quite nice is this is on a jack, so let's do some measurements. Let's see what just this panel, because this panel alone is quite nice. Right, let's do some measurements of this solar panel. It's only under mid desktop lighting, so it's not going to be brilliant. It's going to be even worse if it falls over. Right, so, what type of voltage we've got? We've got, as you can see, about four volts there. Let's go up to the light, four and a half volts, 4.6. So yeah, I think you could probably get about five volts out of that. Right, what about some current? So uh, let's see what the short circuit current is. Uh, milliamps DC. Right, let's have a look. See what the uh, what type of short circuit current we get. Have a look on contact. Okay, I'm getting. There's about three. There's four four milliamps. Uh, I don't know what it's like in real sunlight. Let me just put it in by the window. Hold on. Okay. Sorry. Okay, well, I'll just put it on the windowsill. It's a very overcast day, and we was getting about 10 milliamps. Uh, so, 10 milliamps short circuit current. So, that's probably enough to keep the old batteries uh, trickle charged there. Let's have a look. Oh, 
I'm just presuming the batteries here. Yeah? I mean, this head says it's IP44 rated, but the way this back's on screen, uh, yeah, I don't know about any rating really. Soon find out. I mean, you would expect like a, a water seal, wouldn't you? So. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Get me a trusty knife. Arrows pointing to the top. Okay, I wouldn't quite call it waterproof. Yes, you got three nickel metal hydrides uh, in series. And then there's the PIR circuitry there. Okay, is there not really much to look at in there? Hope I'm in focus. Right, screw. Right, it does have a, a swivel mount here and also an adjustable bracket. It's also a bit more lead wrapped around here. <coughs> okay, it's end stops to stop you obviously uh, uh, tying the cable in knots. But yeah, you can mount that up and then angle that to your desired location, do it up tight. Uh, yeah, this, this is a cheapy type of plastic. How's this put together? And I'm actually thinking, yep, yeah, but I thought that this section here is actually glued to get the IP44 rating. There's no screws in it. Uh, the back end, I would not have actually said that was IP44. The solar panel, it may well be. I'm not going to guarantee it. But yeah, it's quite nice for $7.99. Very tempted. See, this is almost giving out 5 volts. Uh, I could almost find a, a real good use one of those seeing it's got a standard jack on it as well that's very useful uh, okay uh, I will put this up in due course and see how it goes right okay. and uh, may, may even do a video with with it up okay many thanks for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed that uh as i said this is from lidl's apparently he's got a three-year warranty